today, stage zero garage. Got a gas tank to fix. Uh, this is for the uh, uh, step sides. Uh, I took this one off the uh, maroon one. The problem is, is uh, I had a leak here. This was already repaired. And so I got all the goop off. And so now I'm gonna dig out uh, this, uh, whatever this stuff they used to fill it with. And then I've got uh, Logan's uh, plastic welder with some polypropylene uh, welding sticks. And so I'm gonna give, uh, give this a try on repairing. And then once this one's done, it's gonna go into the black truck. And then I'm gonna take that one out and that one needs repairing, especially like around here. Um, um, just going to keep digging this out. that stuff is Gonna try to cut this bigger than what the crack is. And I don't know what I'm doing. I've not done this before. I haven't even looked at videos on how to do this. I should maybe do that, but let's just keep working and see what happens. Cut that all the way through, made it a little bit bigger, kind of angled it to beveled it in. So I'm going to use this tip first. It's just a flat one. See if I can smooth that out. I got, these don't actually fit in there, these do. Uh, let me just use this one first, since I know it'll work. That doesn't look bad.
I'm going to smooth it out with the other one. If it's that easy, uh, I'm amazed. <laughs> I'm just going to try to build this up. Let's just do it from here. So I'm just kind of just moving slowly along the surface and pressing down on the rod. Try to keep in mind there's a strap that goes here too. So I don't want to make that too high. Well, let's see how that holds. Well, it looks good. Let's just hope it works good. Here are my two tanks side by side, sort of there, side by side. Uh, this is the one that uh, I got with the truck, not the one that was on the truck when I got it. The one that was on the truck had a crack on the bottom from the strap, from the bottom, on the bottom from the strap. And I threw it out because I didn't think it could repair that crap. Uh, this one I got with the maroon truck. And yeah, as you come up to recap, this is the repair I made. And uh, yeah, this one <laughs> was pretty beat up. So all of these uh, screws were frozen in, so I had to cut it. A um, bunch of these were, I think all of them were. <laughs> so I had to cut those. And this just was all chewed up. It was probably from other times that people were in and out on that thing. So. Um, yeah, that's, that's what this one looks like. Um, this one, a couple of them were, looked like they broke and then they just re-drilled, um, holes for it. And then they, uh, also drilled holes in the, uh, uh, the sending unit. And, uh, so this one, what I'm going to do is, um, maybe, uh, just kind of try to keep the ones I have, mark them, or um, I'm trying to see how these, looks like some of these are actually threaded, and maybe just a couple of these are, I don't know. Anyway, it's going to be a lot of work. It's not going to be very clean. Actually, let's get this one. Doot, doot, doot. Doot, doot, doot. So nothing was changed on this one, so 
means that everything was shifted over. So I will try to reuse all of that. And uh, I don't have to take a look at this because when it said it was when it was full, when my tank was full, it was only reading uh, three quarters, and then it was like when it got down to empty. It's when it said it was empty, it was like still at like only twelve gallons out. So, all right, so I'm gonna grind. This one actually didn't leak, so I'm probably not gonna really do anything with this side. It's um, nice and thick too. But this side, I think I'm just going to grind it down, clean it up as best I can, and just try to fill as much of that up. I've got a bunch of those sticks. Maybe I'll just use a torch and melt them in there. I don't know. So the thing with these, with this plastic, is this polyprop polypropylene. Um, you cannot, you can't fix it with anything else other than polypropylene. Um, none of it will stick over time. It will. I'm just going to use this old piece here and see if I can reuse it. Um, in time, it it will give out, and because uh, it just won't bond. You know the stuff. Once you melt it in with the other stuff, then it just becomes one piece again. When I saw this one, I was kind of dismayed and almost tempted just to toss it, but you know, what's it going to hurt to try to fix it? I can always toss it if I don't like my repair. After I get it all filled, then I'm going to come back through and smooth it out. Um, probably just use this to heat it up and smooth it. So I find like these big chunks here. So if I actually cut cut a bigger chunk of the filler. it in there
Clearly going to have to lift this in. Just not enough charge in that. So we'll let that sit for a little bit, and uh, I'll have to go figure out something else to work on. the wire wheel kind of took it down a little bit I'm going to try to smooth it a little bit more again iron it out oh yeah whoops I don't want to do too much and I melt it Okay, so I'm not really happy with this. Um, I don't like how rough it is. Um, I want to cover these holes. I'm going to mark where they are and then so I can make sure I line up the uh, sending unit uh, in the right spot. Um, but I want to cover it. I want to fill these holes so that um, you know they're not exposed to the to the gas and then I'm going to get shorter Shorter screws, hopefully those will fit. I should just check the ones I have. I don't know if I want to go much shorter than that. Maybe it won't be necessary, but I figure if I fill them, they'll be at least even that much tighter. And uh, uh, so I'm gonna try that. I'm gonna actually just try to get the big pieces and use a little torch I have to melt it on there and then smooth it with the iron. I have this little thing. It, I, <laughs> I thought it was cool, different than what it was, but it's like a trigger. I mean, like, it's either on or off. It's not a good trigger gun.
This area is just to show which way the uh, um, lines face. That's high enough, but I need to need to sand that down now. I wonder if my Dremel will do it. I don't know what I have here for this stuff. Well, I got this thing. Hopefully, it'll do something. I don't have a lot for grinding around here or sanding something like this. Better. I could maybe fill in this area a little bit. So that's kind of a low spot, maybe there too.
that in once that thing charges up. Um, I think in the meantime, I'm going to start putting the other tank together so I can get it into that truck. And then uh, I'll come back and fill that in. I think that looks much better. I'll take that as a as a done. It's pretty smooth. Um, probably smooth enough when it's the gasket's on. And, I mean, it's got to be way, way, way full and splashing in there in order for it to be, you know, the gas to get up that high anyway. Um, also, my attempt to use this one is not going to work. This is the piece that Apparently this is like some piece you could buy. You cut all this stuff out and you put this in um, and you can, you know, get a gas gauge. But um, I haven't checked the voltage or resistance or I haven't checked the resistance on, resistance on this, but it wasn't reading more than a quarter full. So, <sighs> but uh, that's beyond the scope of this project. Um, this project was to show how to repair these gas tanks and um, yeah my repairs are done so this tank is ready to get put back together and go into that truck and this tank is eventually going to go into that thing over there I'm not going to show you me fixing the sending unit. Um, I'll have it on the, the prep maybe for putting this back together because me putting this in will be part of part three of getting the Red Knight Express truck ready for a uh, power tour because I'm going to put the gas tank in and um, then I'm also going to pull the valve covers in this and um, pull the lifters, check them for any weird wear because again I you know I use the, the used ones and I'm getting some leaking from probably this stupid I don't know maybe where's it coming from maybe I'm not getting any leaking anymore maybe it's all better um but yeah I'm gonna pull that look check the lifters for any weird wear and then I'm also gonna mark the the push rods and uh, verify that they they turn when the engine's running then I'll be I'll be secure in my confidence that the Renate Express is going to be what we're taking to uh, power tour um, that engine's not good there's maybe another option um, yeah you see this one sitting here in the background but uh, uh, this is actually the 360 that's going into the the, the maroon truck out there. Um, so I'm getting everything together for that. Came back from the machine shop. Uh, that's going to be a whole nother, whole nother video. So I'm um, not going to give you too many details on that. And uh, so with that note, uh, hopefully this was helpful. It was a nice learning experience for me. I'm glad I did it. Uh, I'm glad I could save two tanks because these are really hard to find so um you know it's not a perfect fix but uh as long as it doesn't leak we're good so uh on that note uh we're gonna wrap it up for the uh the polypropylene tank repair video uh, thank you and uh catch me later